The Lion Guard is the collection of guardians serving the Pride Lands. For generations, they've taken on forces, small and large, all to protect the innocent and preserve the circle of life. They are powerful, they are swift, they are fair. The Lion Guard protects. But what is the Guard? Where do they come from? And why did they disappear during the events of the Lion King? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watson Videos where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm all about spreading the magic of Disney every day and today I'm going to accomplish that by exploring the origins of the Lion Guard. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about Kion and the Guard after the video, I provided all the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. The search for new information on the Lion Guard was sought after by Simba's second born child, Kion, after finding out something disturbing. In the episode Divide and Conquer, we learn of a symbol scorched in the ground that Rafiki recognizes from his paintings as a mark from long ago. Long before Simba or Mufasa, that mark Rafiki and Kion discover symbolized a terrible evil. What the current Lion Guard had found was a burn mark from the unholy ghost of Scar, who was beginning to lead a war across the Pride Lands. The war was actually really serious at times in the show. Like, Scar had poisoned Simba at one point, and there's been a lot of instances of open conflict, so the Lion Guard has been desperate to end Scar's rule. When you look at the show from a macroscopic view, it does not seem like a Disney Junior show. In hopes of defeating the undead evil king, the Lion Guard sought out how the original Lion Guard overcame their great evil in the episode Cave of Secrets. Rafiki's apprentice Makini introduces them to history all around them and guides them to what they discover is a secret chamber deep beneath Pride Rock. That's the mark of evil, all right, and the original Lion Guard. Well, it looks like a long time ago, the Lions of the Pride Lands found the way to defeat a great evil. And this chamber holds the secret. I was so excited when they found a secret cave beneath Pride Rock. Honestly, little bits like that make learning about and watching the show so fun. What they discover from voyaging into the chasms below was the history of why the Lion Guard began. It turns out a group of lions tried to take over the Pride Lands long ago, which caused the region to almost be eradicated. In reaction to this terrible destruction, a group of good-natured lions, led by the second-born son of the current king, Ascari, created something remarkable. The good lions of the Pride Lands created a powerful, unstoppable force that could defeat the evil lions once and for all. And it worked! But only the worthiest in the Pride Lands would be allowed to find this force and use it. But when Kion and the Lion Guard arrived to the final chamber, they didn't find some weapon or potion or magical staff. All they found was a reflective pond. It took them a second, but they realized the truth. They were the secret force. The great force to defeating great evil is here. It's us. That's the secret they created to defeat great evil, Ascari's original Lion Guard. Out of desperation, the noble Ascari and four other lions summoned the great kings of the past, the elders who had come before, to empower them to ward off threats to the circle of life. As the fiercest lion among them and the lion with royal blood, Ascari was gifted by the great kings with the ability to use the most powerful roar in the world, referred to as the Roar of the Elders. Ascari was the fiercest lion in the pride, but alongside him stood the bravest, fastest, strongest, and keenest of sight. Each warrior was marked by the elders with the shape of a lion's head to show they were chosen directly by the great kings, and together those lions formed the first Lion Guard. Honestly, I would love to learn more about Ascari and the first guard. I am super interested in the history of the early days of the Pride Lands, and it sounds like they were noble characters living in an extremely tumultuous time. Yes, they were warriors and defenders, but the first guard especially was remembered for being forgers of peace. They ended the conflict between the evil lions and, we learn in the episode, the Akambusho tradition that Ascari's guard were responsible for forging peace between lions and elephants. The Lion Guard's sole duty was to be the first line of defense for the Pride Lands and to establish peace, and this position reigned long after Ascari. The original guard's precedent was set for the next generations of lions. The leader role was ceremoniously passed to the second born of the king, when the elders felt that individual was ready for the roar. After the leader was granted with the elders' gift, they would subsequently mark four elite members of the Pride who possessed the characteristics of the original four members to become 
the new guard. This is how the Lion Guard lived on for many years, until Scar became leader. With the roar of the elders, Scar felt his power surpassed all others, including his brother and king, Mufasa, making him believe he deserved to be the king. To strip his brother of his position, Scar ordered his Lion Guard to help him take down Mufasa, but when they refused, he angrily destroyed the Lion Guard with the roar. What Scar didn't realize was that by using the roar for evil, he would lose the power of the roar completely. The Lion Guard's presence in the Pride Lands had been stripped away. Stripped away. By the relentless and egotistical Scar. And since Mufasa never had a second born, the Lion Guard couldn't be reinstated by the elders until after the events of the Lion King. The guard couldn't return until the reign of Simba. It could only come back after the birth of Simba's second child, Kion. Years had passed since a guard had protected the land, but when Kion unleashed the roar after years of dormancy in defense of one of his best friends, Bunga, the Pride Lands were informed it was time for the guard's return. Starting today, you are the leader of the new Lion Guard. <laughs> and now as the leader of the guard, I need you to assemble the Pride Lands bravest, fastest, strongest, and keenest of sight. While Scar had set a shameful first by destroying the Lion Guard completely, Kion set a first against tradition and the wishes of Simba. Kion broke the precedent of the previous Lion Guards by choosing animals for his guard that weren't lions. Instead of choosing the members based on lions from the Pride, Kion chose the animals from the Pride Lands who were prepared to be a part of the guard. Bunga the Honey Badger was the bravest. Fuli the Cheetah was the fastest. Beshti, the hippo, was the strongest, and Ono, the egret, was the keenest of sight. These were the members of the new and current Lion Guard. Long ago, Ascari began the Lion Guard with the blessing of the great kings of the past, during a time of near destruction to defeat all the terrible evils that threatened the Pride Lands, and for generations, this duty was passed on. Although Scar halted the Lion Guard's reign, Kion would be granted the chance to reinstate the Guard under his command with his best friends by his side. The Lion Guard has a difficult job of integrating itself into the Lion King canon, but I think it has not only accomplished this, but introduced a plethora of compelling new lore and a dynamic group of protectors. Together, the Lion Guard was ready to face the likes of Scar, War, Turmoil, and anything that came their way to protect the Pride Lands and the Circle of Life. So now it's time for the question of the day sponsored by my patrons. To become a patron yourself, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash videos. Would you like me to discuss Scar's war in the Lion Guard? I honestly just find the whole ghost Scar conflict fascinating so far and I'd love to share it with you. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed discussing the Lion Guard, then click that like button to help support the channel. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more magical Lion King videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you'd like to see more Watson videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.